Previously on Moe's Rants. So he didn't came outside. Marvin and Lulu, we don't know. So I said we could have just split them because it was four bodies out there. We just give them two and two. So that would put Marvin in five bodies and Lulu at four. But anyway, they slid. The luckiest man in the power universe, he's still here. He don't owe no deaths to nobody. The war has begun. Now, after all of this, Rock said, you know what? Fuck it. Early in the morning tomorrow, hit up Traymon. We're going to go out there and make this business deal. We got to go ahead and seal this up right now because we need this money. We need to get back on our feet. Whole war with Sal going on. Y'all killed Jimmy, and the retaliation has been crazy. You think killing four people, Sal ain't going to retaliate? No, that's neither here nor there. So they go and meet up with Traymon. Traymon's a bad motherfucker. Now, they say that Trayvon was soft. I say, okay, yeah, he might be. But, the, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't all about bronze. It may be about the brain some little bit. So, Rock yelled and bailed out Abraham. She didn't got Cartier knocked off. So, Trayvon is a free agent. And just like a free agent, you're free to do whatever you want. You can broker whatever deal you want. Now, Marvin is in here. He's supposed to be the muscle. Him and Abraham, they kicking it. They, they okay, yeah. Pauls has got a difference. Hey, if you you know some spots, I'm thinking about going to Lamont's later on. You want to roll? Nah, it's pretty good. They got this. Oh man, they got this food. Ooh -wee. You go up there about nine ten at night. Oh man, they got this one cook up there, Gregory. I'm telling you, Gregory, crazy. Now, I heard he used to be down south at this place called like a Waffle House. I ain't never been to one, but they said Gregory used to go crazy in the Waffle House. Like they talk about triple double numbers at the Waffle House. He came up to Lamont's now. He make this. Oh man. He make this little steak. Let me tell you, motherfucker. Oh, you bite into that. Ooh, juicy. Juicy. And then, oh, they, oh. Dog, let me tell you, Gregory be putting his foot in. He make these mashed potatoes, too. Oh, man, I get it almost every day. I come with this homemade gravy. Mm. Gregory, boy. Hey, shout out to Gregory, man. At Lamont's, he used to work down at Waffle House. I think it was, uh, yeah, was he? Was he? In? I think it's in Alabama. Yeah, it may have been down in Alabama. Shout out to Gregory. But Marmon's in here listening. He he don't even know what's going on because Rock ain't told him shit. She <laughs> she talking about all right. So what's up? We gonna make this thing happen? He said, oh, about that. Um, Mm, we don't need you. He looked at Abraham. Abraham looked at him like, you gonna tell her? You gonna be tell her? You gonna be tell her? You gonna tell her? Nigga, you gonna tell her? Hey, now, hold on, hold on, Rock. Hold on, we got it. Nigga, you want me to tell her? Or you gonna tell her? You should probably tell her because that nigga Cardi A did punch the shit out of you. But it would be cool if I told her because she did get me out of jail, dog. What you thinking? Now, Abraham, you tell her. That nigga Abraham said, man, we don't need you no more. <laughs> Your broke ass just a middle man. You know different than what Cartier was doing. What we need you for? I went straight to Juliana. I talked to her and Cuzzo the plug. Rock said, what? What do you mean? He said, oh, yeah. Uh, we ain't working with you no more, bitch. Rock said, oh, that's fucked up. But what about Cartier? He said, oh. Here you go. Gave her a stack of money. Marvin is looking like, what the fuck just went on? Because Marvin wasn't on that mission to get rid of Cartier. So Marvin is just sitting there. Marvin is the muscle. He don't know what the hell going on. He's just eating them Cheetos. You know what I mean? What the fuck? What is he? So is he paying right now? Wait, y'all killed Cartier? Who was Cartier? What are you doing? Oh, the nigga Lou was talking about at the studio. That Cartier, I ain't even know y'all still fucking with that dude. So Marvin has no idea what's really going on here. He's just sitting here. Traymon over here running game exactly how he's supposed to. He won up Raquel just like she tried to won up Cartier. This is just karma. It just came back quicker than she was expecting. But Marvin is just like, man, fuck it. I mean, there's nothing we can do. What are we going to go fight? We already at war. But that's what Marvin was asking. What are we going to do? Fight? And that's exactly what they're going to go do. They go and meet up with Juliana and Cuzzo the Plug. They get up here. 
Juliana talking all that talk talk. Juliana holding it down. Juliana like, man, fuck all that. I made the decision. We slide, and when we slide, we gonna deal with who we deal. We gonna make money with who we make money with. So fuck you, Rock, and fuck your brother with the mop on top of his head. Like, damn, Juliana, you a bad mother. Whew. She like. I told you not to work with you need. And you already know Rock was upset. She's like, well, fuck it. I'll get my own plug. Marvin is like, hey, chill. We seen that Marvin noticed that there were guns in these guys' hands. Watch. Marvin is looking. There's a gun right here. There's a gun right here. There's a gun right here. And Marvin sees that gun right here. Raquel ain't see that gun. Raquel is upset and in her feelings. Raquel's about to get motherfuckers killed. Marvin. He seen that they were outnumbered. He said, hey, Rock, let's dip. Let's dip, girl. Before you say some shit that we're going to regret. And Juliana, she rubbed it in and said, yeah, you need to listen to your brother. Marvin even looked like, damn, you kind of triggered Rock with that one. But Marvin knows that Juliana is right, man. This ain't no place to be trying to start some shit this ain't no one-on-one -on -one sit down with sal and the one-on-one -on -one sit down with sal wasn't even one-on-one -on -one. the dude behind the bar was with sal so it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one. and this ain't no one-on-one -on -one. the two dudes behind them that marvin seen with them toolies they gonna be putting them tools to work and be fixing raquel's ass it's gonna fix you up a little bit marvin you gonna get fixed up a little bit and y'all gonna change y'all mind before y'all come back in here next time talking all that tough talk. But Marvin peeped that. Raquel didn't. Raquel didn't listen to her heart, listen to the feet, listen to the rhythm, rhythm of the streets. Yeah, she didn't do what Arthur said. It's a simple message, and it comes from her heart. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself, and that's the place to start. But Rock didn't, she, she ain't listen to the simple words that Arthur told us. Arthur told us that when we were little kids. We still remember that now. But Marvin saved her life. Marvin said, we got to get up out of here. <laughs> we got to get up out of here, man. This shit getting ugly. I don't know what we're going to do, baby sister, but damn, let's go. Y'all think Marvin made the right decision getting his sister up out of this situation? Rock did say, Rock said she had balls and they were bigger than his. I said, Ugh. we didn't need to know that, Rock. Keep them in your drawers, girl. Jimmy on a beat, boy.